Hi everyone, today we are going to draw a hair, so like a hair rather than hair. And I want to show you today how cute are these. They're just the cutest little things. So I'm going to eat these later, but I painted these a while back. So cool, I love them. I saw this hair once um, in the woods and it just came all the way up to me. It was really curious and it came all the way up to me kind of about a meter away and then I took out my phone to take a photo and it ran off but it was one of the most awesomest experiences ever because I rarely see hairs in um sort of rarely see hairs really when you go for a walk in the wood but I love hairs they're absolutely amazing so all we're going to need today is pencil paper let's go now I want to draw this hair because he looks quite startled so he looks a little bit like how he looked when he saw me. So we're gonna do, first of all, I want you to take your paper and I want you to just do, just trying to think what would be easier for you. I would do whoo, a big V in, the, in your paper. So think about the size and think about where your V would go, probably in the bottom more so. So if you have <laughs> a small piece of paper, I would do the V about there. So kind of like there will be fine. So once you've done the V, we want to turn these Vs into ovals. So big ovals, a little bit like, everything reminds me of food right now, so chips. And then we want to do a line going down. So that's going to be the bit of the nose. So we're going to go down, then you're going to go, and then, now this doesn't go out as much because it's the side of his face. So we've done that, that, down, one, two. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna join it up. So you're gonna join this to there, but you're not gonna join this side. You're gonna go, touch this bit here, and you're gonna go, da da da. So you just go up a little bit, and then I want you to create the nose. So you're gonna go, line up, just trying to think what I drew <laughs> and then line this way so you've got kind of like the nose that goes like that and then the line and then that and then you're gonna come up there now what you want to do is just create a little bit of a jaw so it goes like that looks a bit like a lion actually reminds me of a lion's muzzle and then you want to touch just up here you're gonna go up like a roundy bit and then on the other side, you want to do this. You're not going to see all these lines, but touch this bit here, and you're going to go round. So it's like round, and then touch that bit there and go round. Now this bit's going to go in, so you're going to go, and then you're going to go out. So it's like, it's like curve, curve, curve. Then you want to go, la, la, la. Then this other side, you're going to go straight up. So up, 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 up. But stop when you get to about parallel there. Don't worry if it's a bit confusing, it's fine. It's a little bit tricky the way I've done it, but I thought I'd challenge you today. Right, then you want to draw the eyes in. Now you want to go, you want them to be parallel, which means the same lined up. So there's an eyeball. And then if you go across, you want a nice big eye. So he looks startled, my one, because he's probably seen me and that's why. <laughs> so we want to just draw, I like doing a line around it. So you could do a little line around it, but you don't need to do it now. We can do it with the colours when we do it, so it's fine. And then here, I'm just going to, you don't really see all of his, you don't really see most of it, if I'm honest. But you could just draw him so he looks a little bit, looks a little bit strange there, doesn't he? <laughs> then... We want to do the big ears, but before we do the big ears, I want to just show you how to do the body. So just touch that bit there and go straight down. Her hair kind of bounds along a bit like a dog, you know, it hops, but it's really big hops. So we're going to touch this bit there, go out. You don't have to draw all of his body. It looks quite cool just to draw a bit. So if I think about what I've drawn, mine has like a body there. So if you wanted to draw the whole thing, you probably could, but I probably wouldn't. 
and do a little line there because it looks a bit weird for mine. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna rub this bit out. Da, da, da. So get a rubber if you think you need to. Some people don't. Probably looks cool as it is. Then the ears. You want massive ears. R uh, hairs have bigger ears some ways than um, than rabbits. So you're gonna touch this bit there, and you're gonna go up, 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 and then roundy bit, and then go down as if you're doing like a triangle, and then so it looks like an like an eye, a human eye, if, if it was on the other side. And then you want to just do a line. Doesn't really matter where the line is, as long as it's somewhere above there. Then you're going to go up again. So it's going to be the same kind of height as that one. Doesn't have to be. And then a roundy. Then. So it looks really cool if you start off with small, big, 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 and then small. Just looks kind of cool. Now the ears are going to have shapes in them. So we're going to do this line then on the other side line now I want to do jaggedy lines all the way down don't know if you can see but he's got hair there so we're gonna do jaggedy lines we're gonna do this we're gonna go if you can't do it just think zigzag but you're trying to get hair that goes all the way down so jaggedy lines, just think jaggedy, 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 jaggedy. Okay, so that's going to help you when we colour in. And then we want whiskers. It's because it's not a mask like the other day. Uh, we're going to add whiskers. Now he's normally got some whiskers up here. I'm just looking at my picture. Put it here just so you can see. He's got some whiskers there. Not really whiskers, but they're hairs. Now I'd probably do some lines. And they've got huge whiskers. No. No. Now there's your hair. There is your hair. Now you spell it H-A-R-E, not H-A-I-R. And what I want to do is use chalk pastels. You can buy these on Amazon, just ask your parents. You've probably already got them, but just chalks, 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 chalks. Um and I'm going to use, I've used them a lot, so I haven't got many left. But what I want to do is I want to get three colours. So I want to get a reddy brown. So you could use red if you don't have a reddy brown. Reddy brown, kind of like, like a sandy colour. That's a little bit like yellow. And then I want to get a really dark brown. Now, I think I told you before that I've lost my black. But it's okay. Because instead of black chalk, I'm going to use black paint. So you could probably. Oh, I've lost all my brushes. Where's my brushes? Okay. Right. So, what we want to do first, I'm just going to get my picture so I know what we're doing. You want to get the yellowy colour. So, if you've got watercolours, fine. If you've got any colours, it doesn't really matter what you've got. Get the yellowy colour. And we're just going to do the nose. So we're going to do this like an adult. We're going to pretend we're adults to do. Now, this yellowy colour's nice, but you could choose another yellowy. Do you know what? I'm going to use an orange, an orange-yellow for that bit. I wonder if I should do it there. Do it there. So the eyes, I'm going to do orangey-yellow. I'm going to do a little bit of orangey-yellow in here. So I've now got five, four, four colours. Not much orangey yellow, just a little bit. I'm just going to dot it around. This bit's becoming a bit orangey yellow. <laughs> so pretty much orangey yellow now. This was what I was using, an orangey yellow. Now I've done that. Didn't really need much of my yellow, <laughs> did I? My light yellow. So orangey yellow or light yellow, it doesn't matter. Now, now you want to do the ready brown now the ready brown i'm gonna do it here I'm just gonna keep looking at my so just put it there. might put it up there just so i can have a look so i'm not copying this completely because i painted this one but i want to just do chalk for this one to show you so i'm just kind of i'm just deciding where i might want it and it doesn't have to be exactly like mine your one. And, um, a 
they're really popular, the rabbits, the hares. Um, I sell a lot of hares. So it's a nice one to do. Right, so this is where I've done my orangey brown. If you've got chalk pastels, you hold it on the side and you can just smudge away. Doesn't matter, you could literally just do coloured pencil, colour the whole thing brown if you like. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm just showing you like this in case you want to do it. Now here I'm going to use my dark brown. So we're sort of doing a bit of shadow now. If you can see where I'm putting it, I'm kind of doing it where it's shadow. So if you're a bit more confident, you can have a go at colouring it like this. If you're a bit scared, just maybe choose two browns and just colour Colour it all brown, doesn't matter to be honest. So I'm just guessing where I want it, <laughs> literally. Now, right, it's going to be hard with the black because I don't have black chalk and I need it. Now, because I don't have black, we're going to use my dark brown, but black is going to look cooler, but we're going to just do this. Gonna colour that there, dark brown, line down. Gonna colour a little bit in there dark, and we're gonna outline a little bit, not too much. Gonna go around there, the dark brown. I kind of want a black if I'm honest, but we'll do it dark brown just for now. So you've got the eyes. Inside here is gonna be way dark. So it's actually black, but as I said. Got no black at the moment. Whoa. So if you're getting confused, don't worry. It's all brown. That's what the um, hair is. The hair is all brown. So you can go round the edges if it's easier for you. So you can just colour round the pencil lines if you want. So as long as you've coloured brown around the pencil lines, you can do a bit of grey. Hair doesn't have to be brown, it could be a different colour. I'm going to get my middle finger. Now, this is what makes it look amazing, because you just smudge what's called blending. You leave that white. If you're doing watercolour, you do it with water, but leave that white. Go around, leave it white. I'm going to colour most of him in here. So I've just got my one finger, and I'm kind of just smudging away but I'm not mixing the whole thing with a hand oh it's quite cool inside the ear it's nice to leave some of them white so just colouring that and the body I like to finish the body just like that if I don't have to colour the whole body in I don't need to can if you want, I just don't really need to, I don't want to. Now I'm going to get the yellow, I'm going to smudge a little bit. So we want to get a black ideally, a black pastel, but I also want to get a white. So I've got a white pastel here and I want to kind of go round to make things lighter. So you can't really do this if you've done a water a watercolour. If you've got paint or chalk, you can highlight things, so it's like the lights shining in on him it looks really cool if you do this so just have a go if you can't do it doesn't matter you could just not do it but have a go if you're able to you might like to draw it again after this when you've got maybe some chalks now going over the eyes this bit's always quite white so we're going to smudge it, ooh, smudge away. Okay, so that's roughly, he looks kind of cute. This bit I don't like, it's too dark. Okay, so now I'm going to get the black because the black makes it look awesome. Now you want black whatever you've got, so yours is probably chalk now. I pretend that's chalk. Can you see the difference? You probably can't in this picture, but black really shows up the yellow. A bit like if you see a wasp and it's yellow and black, it really has an awesome effect. 
so we want that. The nose can be a bit more smaller, as in subtle. And this bit could be black. Quite like getting your paintbrush. It's not really that wet, is it? And going da -da -da, to make it look like hair. Can you see? It's kind of like just doing it like that. It's quite chunky, this paint, because I haven't got any water on me. Maybe a little bit of hair there. I like using black. To make it look like hair. Isn't that cool? Right, so we're going to keep him like that. Do you know what? To make him look fluffy or furry, you could add the hair like that if you like. He looks cute. I kind of want to call him Rupert for some strange reason. Now, once you've done that, you want to do the whiskers. Now, I would suggest drawing them in with a pencil because you want them really super light. But if you want to paint them, you can. But I'm just wondering if they're going to be too chunky monkey. I'm going to get some water, hang on, okay so I'm going to get some water and I'm going to have a go at drawing the whiskers but you don't have to do this, you could do it with a pencil but what I like doing is drawing it like that and then leaving a gap because you don't want to do it chunky monkey so you want to almost Real thin line. I'm floating over. I'm not actually pressing hard at all. And if you're scared, just do it with a pencil. It's okay if it goes a bit strange. It's fine. And uh, if you can see, he's got some. He's got some interesting whiskers. They're not all straight. They're like little small ones as well. Then you've got some there that I've done a bit chunky monkey. Some coming out there. Some there. Ah, oh, he looks cool. And then, if you like what you've done, well, do you know what? Even if you're not that keen on it, just own it and say, okay, this is my hair. I'm having to sign it. There you go. Yay! So there's my hair. If I was to look at it and think, yeah, I'm not sure if I like certain things, I would get white paint and to make the eye look like it's 3D. I'd probably put a little bit of white in there because it makes it look realistic. I'd do it with white paint, and then probably my nose, I'd add a bit of white in there. I'd add a little bit of white around there as well. So you can fiddle with it and make it look your own, but I really like him. I think he looks really lovely. I would probably put more colours on his nose. But he's really awesome. So have a go, draw in your hair, have a go, see how you feel, and then maybe you could do a hair that's like pink or a hair that's blue, and then just see what you come up with. I quite like. So subscribe and share, just so we can get a lot of people drawing. Oh, I really like him. So yeah, have a go. Keep sending me your pictures in. Enjoy. And um, I shall be drawing, I can't remember what I'll be drawing, but I'll be drawing something to do with, I think, a racing car or something like that. I might draw a parrot. So, yeah, see you soon. Bye.